was a disappointing day for the crews at Pierce Air Base. The search coordinators had hoped to send out a total of 11 aircraft. Conditions at the base looked good, but two and a half thousand kilometers out in the Indian Ocean, it was very different. Uh, it was definitely not ideal for uh, visual search conditions, uh, with visibility anywhere between five miles and, uh, and basically zero. Well, this aircraft has returned like so many others from the search zone, having seen nothing in its long period out over the sea. But most of the aircraft today have been driven back by weather, and that underlines the extraordinary difficulty of this operation. It's hard enough to see anything out in those rough seas on good days. Today was a bad day, and once again, the search has had to be suspended. This was one of the two Chinese aircraft taking part in this multinational operation. They too were struggling with the poor visibility and eventually had to give up. But news from far away Thailand offered a new possibility. Images from a Thai satellite taken on Monday showed up to 300 objects floating in the southern Indian Ocean. We have confirmed that these are real objects, but not the silhouettes or not the clouds. Uh, so it's actually, it's, uh, but we cannot identify what they are. Hello. China's dispatch of a senior envoy to Malaysia is a mark of how concerned it is over the slow progress in the search and perhaps of its displeasure over Malaysia's handling of the crisis. The involvement of so many of its citizens in this baffling air disaster is putting unusual pressure on the Chinese leadership to show results. There are four Chinese ships now in the search area and they're staying put, riding out the storms in the hope of a breakthrough. Jonathan Head, BBC News, Perth, Western Australia.